Hi guys, so we're going to look at doing some infraspinatus work. Um, we're going to call them wall walks. That's pretty much what they are. Um, using a resistance band. So with in this position, what you're going to do is you're going to see me place my hands on the wall. Um, what you need to know is that my hands are actually parallel to the floor. So from here, when I'm actually walking these up, what doesn't happen is they don't change position at all, okay? So they're completely straight. So keeping them straight for me. The other thing that I want you to think about is that my shoulders are gonna be down and away from my ears. So keeping my shoulder blades down my back, squeezing my shoulder blades a little bit just to stabilize um, whilst I actually walk my hands up. So using a resistance band, I would suggest you start really, really light because it's a tough one. Um, so again, my hand is going to be in this position, thinking about pushing my elbows in slightly, but my arm, my um, wrists come out slightly. OK, so you're thinking about that rotation in that position. OK, so from here, I'm going to place my elbows and arms on the wall. Again, I'm pulling the band apart. And from here, all I'm going to do is actually start to walk my hands up the wall a little bit. And then I'm going to start to walk them back down, keeping my shoulders away from my ears, making sure that my hands again or my arms stay parallel to the floor. Um, you can do this without a wall. It's absolutely fine. So you're staying in this position and you're actually just walking up or you can just lift keeping that tension on the band, keeping the elbows in. It's tough, it's really, really, really tough. So again, start light with a really light resistance band um, and then build it up. But that's your wall walks for infraspinatus and using a mini band.